Greetings for the day. This is Sudarshan Martha from Martha Corporation. We are a Mumbai based company and our company is located in Mira Bhaindar Thane. We started in the year 2017 and since 2017 we have served more than 45 to 50 customers. Our specialty is uh, that we are basically we have focused on our uh, department of respiratory care where we are supplying ventilators, bubble CPAP, HFNC machine and uh, apart from that we are also giving uh, equipments which are used in ICU and NICU but our specialty we, which we have chosen is about lungs so today I am going to give you a brief introduction about our new stock which has arrived of MacWet Survive you can see uh, the setups are ready for brief introduction of this ventilator you can see we have connected this ventilator with compressor and oxygen cylinder the compressor has a has a pressure of 4 bar and same pressure has been set up has been done in oxygen cylinder because this ventilator is very sensitive we have to take care about the pressure if the pressure of this ventilator increase from 4 bar to any other bar then there is a possibility of model getting damaged which we are telling to all our customers to be very cautious about pressures of oxygen and air now let me start this ventilator we are having on off switch behind this ventilator so once we click from here this is the button is there now you can see the name of market now as alarm is getting pimped now air supply and oxygen supply are connected to this module this is basically module of ventilator and this is cable which is connected from GDU unit to monitor. This is the main cable. This is cassette and from here ventilator circuits have been connected. So you can see in this ventilator there are two types of ventilations can be done one is invasive one is non-invasive if we choose invasive ventilation that means with the help of mask if we are going to give support to uh, our patient the moment you click invasive you will see the screen like this the moment you click niv the screen get turns to yellow that means this is niv mode means with the help of mask you can give ventilation to patient so from here you, have, you can choose invasive non-invasive the moment you change the color of screen gets changed now here it is adult here it is infant now let us as we have connected to test lung we'll start invasive ventilation and we have connected adult circuit and adult test lung so from here we have choose choose an adult then here it is invasive you can see the photo of adult from here we have to start ventilation the moment you start ventilation you can see the lungs is getting the pressure of air and oxygen the tidal volume of ventilator is getting delivered now this we have kept in volume control mode so if we click here in volume control we can see certain parameters which we have to set as per the requirement of patient which will be decided by doctor now suppose here in this case it is 500 tidal volume rr is 15 that is respiratory rate pp is 5 and o2 level is 40 percent ie ratio is 1 is to 2 that means inspiratory to expiratory is 1 is to 2 t pause is 10 and t inspiration rise is 5 now again here it is trigger flow this is one of the important part which we will give you more details about this now from here you can select the modes of ventilator as modes which are available in this ventilator are volume control pressure control prvc that is pressure regulated volume control pressure support cpap volume support simv plus volume control plus pressure support simv plus pressure control plus pressure support siv prvc plus pressure support this is bivent and this is nava 
so this ventilator is completely having all modes which are available in macwet server and which is required for ventilation and for treatment of patient suppose if you want to change ventilation mode now as we have got volume control the moment you touch at pressure control this ventilation mode will get changed now as i would like to show you this settings in volume control now in this volume control whatever parameters we have set that is 500 tidal volume rr is 15 pp is 5 o2 concentration is 40 i ratio that is 1 is to 2 inspiratory to expiratory t pos and t t inspiratory rise now this is trigger flow trigger flow is one of the main thing which we have to take care while uh, using this ventilator because trigger is something which will which will act according to response of the patient now let us assume let us this i have choose accepted suppose if i want to give give a tidal volume of 450 ml that means which suppose if i want to uh, give less tidal volume as uh, required by patient or as suggested by doctor the moment i use this knob clockwise and, and anti clockwise you will see the parameters are getting changed now suppose doctor has decided to give 400 tidal volume to this patient so 400 the moment you choose 400 tidal you can see vti and vt is equal to 398 that means vti is getting delivered 397 ml and vt is going 385 near about 400 tidal volume is getting achieved and according to this tidal volume the minute ventilation is 5.7 that means 5.7 liter per minute now as we have kept o2 concentration or maybe fi o2 is 40 so 40 is getting delivered suppose if you want to reduce the o2 level so let us assume 30 the moment you change 30 the o2 start getting reduced the concentration of o2 get reduced now rr is 15 that is respiratory rate suppose if i want to decrease the respiratory rate up to 12 so the moment you set 12 you will see the rr of the patient will get reduced now as we have kept 30 so 30 has been achieved and rr 12 is there now you can see the rr is getting reduced and now if i want to change peep from 5 to 4 then the moment i change this 5 will become 4 you can see now expiratory minute volume low it is showing now as it is showing that means the minute ventilation is low as compared to the parameter which we have set in alarm so in that case what we have to do we have to just open this alarm profile from here we can choose alarm upper limit and lower limit now here if i will do auto set so according to auto set except now all parameters will get set the upper limit and lower limit will get set automatically means whatever upper limit or lower limit you have to set you can also set that as per your requirement or maybe you can choose auto set so automatically it will get set now as i have kept r r 12 12 is getting delivered 12 with permit 30 minute ventilation and the tidal volume as per the 400 ml now suppose if i want to increase the oxygen level from 30 to 50% now you can see the moment i set the parameters all the values will get changed from rr now i have kept 16 with tidal volume i have kept 500 ml the moment i change the parameters will get changed means these are the set parameters and these are the delivered parameters or maybe monitoring values means this is the set parameters and accordingly this figures you can see this is a delivering figures now from here if i want to change any kind of mode from here you can change any mode so from volume control you can suppose if you want to go for pressure control now again as it is showing respiratory volume i so here what we can do we, we have to just choose the alarm profile auto set and accept or maybe doctor will decide what kind of upper limit or lower limit has to be decided by that all depend upon the condition of the patient and the doctor who is going to decide now this trigger is zero from here you can set the values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
maximum time is the trigger flow and if we set or if we move anti clockwise you can see minus 10 minus 14 up to minus 20 so what we are trying to say this trigger sensitivity generally generally this trigger we have to keep zero suppose if patient is giving any kind of trigger now we are we have kept trigger at zero so the false parameters or false breathing will not happen but here we have to keep we have to make sure that whatever trigger we are setting you should set this minus 5 or maybe from 0 to minus 5 that depend upon the condition of patient how patient is responding accordingly we have to set the trigger whatever parameters we have set it will shown over here this trigger is basically the response of the patient and according to response of the patient this ventilator will give rr plus fr to whatever parameters we have set it will get delivered but if patient is responding and if patient is asking for extra breath then ventilator will also give breath because as yes, we have kept trigger sensitivity on trigger sensitivity is on so that's why now you can see all the parameters are going properly exactly whatever we have set now in some hospital what we have observed the air pressure and oxygen pressure which has been set by the uh, pipeline uh, person who are uh, doing this setup of oxygen and air line suppose if we want to check how much pressure air on oxygen we have in our hospital means from here if we check the status you can see all the details version is universal that means it is used it can be used on, on adult pediatric neonatal that means universal ventilator software version is there serial number is there total operating hours next preventive maintenance are 45 minutes battery backup is there now you can see the pressure air pressure is 3.6 bar and auto pressure is 4.2 bar or maximum is the 4.5 bar which you can give to this ventilator otherwise this will damage your model and ultimately it will cost cost a lot now from here you can see auto sensor this is a this these are all general details now you can see the auto sensor the last calibration date of auto sensor is 1999 2024 the expiratory cassette 99% membrane is left in this expiratory cassette battery 55 minute replace battery 45 minute is the backup time modules this is something install options where we don't have to do anything just you can check or you can check the status of this ventilator from here you can check which software version what are the pressures it, it's getting delivered and what are the working hours on next preventive we'll maintenance can be or when we have to do the next maintenance this you can see from here so this is the main thing which you have to check air and oxygen pressure it should not exceed more than 4.5 bar if it happens then your ventilator is at risk and there is a possibility of ventilator module getting damaged so this you have to take care thank you so much for watching us and for more information if you require any kind of support or or any service related issues you can contact us anytime we are available 24 by 7 you can contact us with the help of email or maybe you can contact with the help of contact number which we have given on our website in case of any kind of emergency or in case of any query you can please feel free to contact us anytime thank you so much for your time once again and have a pleasant day